According to the new estimates of World Health Organization on the magnitude of disabling hearing loss, more than 250 million people around the world are affected in 2000 and has since increased to 360 million people in 2012. In Malaysia, there were 2,648 cases of occupational disease in 2014. At Web, 1,563 cases of investigated occupational disease were of noise-induced hearing loss, which was the common occupational disease experienced by the Malaysian workers as compared with the other disease. Hence, as a prevention step, audiometric assessment have been brought into practice. What is audiometric testing? It is a test to evaluate your hearing made by an audiologist to determine whether you have hearing loss and in what part of your ear the problem is located. The test usually takes between 45 to 60 minutes. The test is performed in a soundproof room. You will wear headphones or earplugs connected to a device that sends sounds of different volumes and pictures to one ear at a time. You will be asked to respond by raising your hand or pressing a button each time you hear a sound. The audiologist will record each tone at the lowest possible volume that you were able to hear it. Now, let's see the importance of conducting audiometric testing. Audiometric testing provides a means of early detection of noise-induced hearing loss. First, individual will complete hearing surveillance questionnaire to uncover any history of hearing abnormalities or any condition that may have an impact on testing. Regularly scheduled audiometric testing identifies people who are at risk of significant hearing loss by identifying changes in their threshold over time. Employers can then implement appropriate treatment plans like providing a higher class of hearing protection, ensuring that the employee uses hearing protection correctly, and reducing the noise in particular locations. Audiometric testing is best conducted at least a few hours into an employee's shift to identify any temporary threshold shift. Temporary threshold shift can show that the personal hearing protection and noise reduction strategies are not working effectively and then immediate corrective action is required. Lastly, audiometric testing may also help in identifying the need for diagnosis of potential medical problems distinct from workplace hearing loss that affect a person's ability to hear.